anyone that knew him can tell you he just lit up the room immediately. He just had the best personality and could always make anybody laugh. Every now and then, Miranda Gilbert has to remind herself the man she loves is no longer here. Like sometimes I have to actually just say it to myself and remind myself that it's true because it doesn't feel like it. Especially given the fact that her fiance died from a heroin overdose just two and a half months ago, a short time after sending her this sweet video. <laughs> As far as the heroin goes, Gilbert didn't learn her fiance, Zachary, had been using it until he came out of rehab a month before his death. It was a relief in a sense because he admitted it, but then also like another huge, you know, weight on my chest because it was worse than I knew. <laughs> but the worst was yet to come. On November 16th, Gilbert got a call from Zachary's brother. He had overdosed on heroin again, and paramedics couldn't bring him back. Why didn't I stay with him longer Friday night? Or why didn't I, you know, call his mom earlier when he didn't text me fast enough? The second guessing began. Could Gilbert have done more to prevent this from happening? And if so, what? A lot of people that, you know, that were in the situation probably would have left him before I did. But, I, you know, I loved him, and I knew he could get better and I wanted him to get better. In the end, she realized she did everything she could and is still helping by sharing this tragedy with others. Tim Waller, WIFF News 4, Spartanburg County.